Hello YouTubers, Joe Kersey here looking down his basement stairs on uh, February 19th at uh, uh, it's about 17.30 in the afternoon Eastern Time here. This, this will give you a bit of an idea how deep the water still is. It's, it's really just about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch thick now here at the base of the stairs. It's actually gone down a bit since around 11. I went down there and walked around in a bit at 11 o'clock and, uh, uh, you know, I cast my eye over to the washing machine and as near as I could tell, uh, using a, uh, using, you know, my magic flashlight, uh, I, I don't think it was, uh, the water got up much, even actually up exactly to the base proper here. We're getting close to magic hour light now here, you know. So, uh, look forward to that. Hello, YouTubers. Joe Kersey here again. Yeah, I just talked to you here looking down the basement. Nobody fell down those basement stairs and nobody fell down in the water in that basement today, which is always a cause for a bit of cause for rejoicing. I was sort of like the hymn, you know, Surely it is God who saves me, without him I cannot stand. For da da da, da I, 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 I'm terrible with words. Da, 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 da. So rejoice as you draw water from salvation's living spring. Da, 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 the, the, the thing of Israel. I really have to have lyrics in front of me when I sing. I know the music, but I... <laughs> well, it's been it's, it's a glorious day. My word, it's it's it got up to like uh, I don't know, like sixty three, sixty four. On uh, most days like this, I would have the windows open and the door open. And I'd have the heaters off and all this kind of thing. But I'm just trying to maintain a certain amount of, uh, you know, heat in the thermal mass of this house, you know, until we get the basement dried out and it stops being, you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to get really, really cold. But, you know, come on, you know, you know keep that thermal mass filled up. The concept of specific heat is a very powerful concept. <laughs> so today, I've been, uh, well, I looked at some YouTube this morning earlier. There wasn't anything in the online newspapers. I mean, there's nothing. Well, it's the usual bullshit in the Washington Post about, you know, Trump's an asshole, Trump's doing this, Trump's an asshole, Trump's, the, you know, Trump's doing this, Trump's an asshole. I mean, that's the usual stuff in the Washington Post, you know. Uh, everybody's got their panties in a wad up there. I'll tell you, you know, they, I hope, I hope these guys have clean cracks because, you know, if they're wadding that stuff up there and tighten up as much as they seem to be, it's, that's, their laundry bill must be fantastic. I know, I can, did Jeff Bezos buy that? No, oh, how he can afford that? Fuck, he can afford the laundry bill. Where'd that come from? That stuff just kind of springs into my head sometimes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've been watching uh, on Couch Tuner uh, uh, season three of Spartacus. I'm, uh, I'm, I think I watched, I'm, I'm, I have two more episodes to go on season three, and that's the last season. Um, I will say, I may have mentioned this the other day, season three is far better written than the other two seasons. And it's far better acted. Uh, and I will say that much to my gratification in episode seven here that I just finished watching, the really loud mouth annoying woman got it in the neck. It's about time, too. I got t She was really tiresome. And, of course, we know there's two characters that can't get killed. You've got 
Julius Caesar and Tiberius. I mean, so I mean, they have to keep alive because, you know, they're going to be actors way much later in the century, you know. <laughs> and Tiberius is going to outlive Caesar. Very, very obviously. And I may be wrong about that. I may be, I may be conflating that. Uh, I'm not one of these, you know, big Roman history fans, quite honestly. Uh, you know, pagans, pagans conquered, conquered and killed people, and okay, ooh. Told a bunch of fucking myths. Ooh. Their, their armies are fairly well disciplined. Uh, we read uh, Caesar's Gallic Wars uh, in, or season commentaries on the Gallic Wars uh, in Saint Year Latin. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he didn't uh, he didn't fuck around, you know. And uh, was, some of the interesting things about the way this thing is written is, you know. It, it, it sort of presages literary quotes about Caesar and, and all of this, you know, in various plays, if, if you're familiar with it. And, and uh, in this one episode, I think it was like episode six or five, you know, it was like uh, uh, the, uh, the gladiators uh, threw, threw their dead into a pit that the Romans had done so they could cross over the pit, you know, like a giant moat, and then climb up and attack the Roman camp, and I do remember reading about that in uh, Caesar's Gallic Wars. I mean, he, you know, he and Vercingetorix had, uh, you know, they crossed swords and words. You know. There's this great, uh, uh, I think it's by, you know, Doré. Well, hell, Doré, almost any, you know, that's always a good guess when, you know, Doré. Uh, uh, Vercingetorix, you know, sort of kneeling to Caesar. You know, I don't think I don't think Caesar killed him. I think he took him back to Rome as a trophy or something. You know. Next time, next time you have a son name name him Vercingetorix, Vercingetorix, or a dog. That'd be even good for a good name for a really big dog. Male dog, but I suppose, you know, you could have a transsexual dog or a bi dog or a tranny dog or. <laughs> well, I've punched about every social button now, haven't I? Meanwhile, uh, today, uh, what sprang to mind was, uh, as I tend to do, I tend to get broody about. Uh, things. Well, today I was getting broody about this whole transition process at church. Well, I didn't go to church on Sunday. I may have mentioned that. If I didn't, I'm mentioning it now. I just can't. I just can't go up there and listen to this. You know, get off the pew and do stuff. And you know, this, I just, I just, you know, if you're going to get us a new rector, fine. If you're not, fine. You know, I'm very willing to stick around and do the prayer list, and I'll read whenever you tell me to read. But you know, come on. Don't drag this out. So I, uh, but again, you know, every now and again, you, you know, we're supposed to be, we're supposed to be in a spirit of repentance here this this Lent Lent season. So I, uh, I, I, I wrote this little piece for the newsletter here that's coming out next week. Uh, I don't know if they're, they're going to put it in or not, and I, I, I call it thoughts on the transition process as it draws on. And I uh, said, I was pondering our wilderness time during this transition period this afternoon. And as often happens with me, Psalm 139 springs to mind. And it does. It's my favorite psalm. And then I quote, Whither shall I go then from thy spirit? Or whither shall I go then from thy presence? I continue. Excuse me. We have been subjected to inquiries and exercises. Inquiries and exercises. And the psalm, If I climb up into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to hell, thou art there also. 
than I say. The repetitiveness, tediousness, and tiresomeness of it all has led to doubts and thoughts of moving on. Well, I mean, I didn't specify what the thoughts of moving on were, but, you know, it's like, you know, it's like I've gotten this way several times in the years past. It's like, where the hell else am I going to go? You know, there, there aren't basically any other, you know, rational Protestant Trinitarian type churches that really like to have gay people around being functional in the church, whether they're openly gay or not. You know, and it has nothing to do with marriage stuff. It just, you know, it's just like, And again, if I take the wings of the morning and remain in the uttermost parts of the sea, frustration with it all, I continue in my personal commentary, has led to conclusions about much more than the process that are most likely inaccurate and false based on incomplete evidence despite the lengthy process. Well, I'm being, you know, basically I'm being nice here. I I had to I had to go over that several times to get it down to where that's at least marginally acceptable. And the psalm again. Even there also shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. And that's that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. And then I go on. What we have here is another example of a failure to trust completely in God and his will and purpose. Understood by us or not, for his ways are not our ways and his mind is not our mind. As in Psalm 91, I will send to the Lord, thou art my hope and my stronghold, and my God, and him will I trust. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting here, guys. That's true. I mean, that's absolutely true. For me, anyway, and, you know, well, you know, of course, and by extension, I was some sort of, you know, guy that wanted to go out and suicide bomb people, which I don't, of course. <laughs> you know, like some people do, you know, for their religious beliefs. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, that's not my style, obviously, but. I mean, if you're going to bother to believe it at all, you may as well believe it that it's actually true. And then I go on to say, So I suppose in this Lent I am trying to repent of these unworthy doubts and thoughts. Yeah, they basically are, I think, uh, in terms of I was doubting uh, people of uh, very well-intentioned, very decent people at church in terms of their motivations. Uh, and then the diocesan office. Uh, Still, um, you know, it didn't have to go on for well over three years now. Let's see. Uh, yeah. We're moving on into three years and two and a half months. Well, three years and a month and a half. Give me a break. Well, I've I flogged that dead horse a long time before. I mean, if there had been a dead horse on this uh, Spartacus show, the guys would have eaten it by now. So I'll say bye-bye, YouTube. <laughs>